pi. So today we're solving the Python method count code. And it basically asks you to return the number of times the word code is um, appearing in the string. But the one exception here is that the D can be replaced by any letter. So let's run through these examples really quickly. You can see in this first one that code appears once, so we return one. Here, code appears twice, so we return two. And here, we can see that there are two codes with the Ds replaced, so we return two as well. Now, the way we'll solve this is first by creating the method count code, which takes in a string parameter. Now, count code is pretty much exactly like the previous problems inside string two for Python in coding bat. So if you haven't checked those videos out, such as count high and cat dogs, you should definitely check those out first. Now, the way we'll do this is by creating an answer variable called zero, which will store our answer, the number of times code is uh, appearing inside the string. Once you do that, we just have to create a for loop that runs through the string. And just like before, we need, we need to stop the for loop early in order to give it space to check for the entire word. So here we stop it at length of str minus three, because we need to give the, we need to give the for loop three extra characters worth of space to check for the word. So here, for example, if we were checking only for the letter C, then we could just do this. However, we can't do that because it's not C, it's C plus three extra characters, C-O-D-E. So we have to do this. Once you do that, we need to check if what we're looking at is actually the word code. So we do X plus three, and if it is, then we return, we add one to answer. Once you do this, we can just return answer. Oh wait, we forgot, we forgot about the exception. The exception says that the, the letter D can be replaced uh, inside the word code and it'll still work fine. So instead of checking for all four characters of the word code at once, we need to check for the first two to see if it's CO, sorry, wait, there we go. We need to check if we're looking at CO, and then we have to skip a character and check if we're looking at E. So the way we'll do this is instead of going from X to X plus three, we go from X to X plus two. And if that equals CO and STR at X plus three is equal to E, then we know it'll work fine. Thank you.